All right, it's Thursday afternoon. I've got to make a run to Publix. And what is this gentleman doing? I wonder what the county's doing in here. What are they going to mud? I don't know. I've been living in this spot for five years and I ain't never seen the county in here cut nothing. I don't know. Yeah, I got to go to Publix. I'm right in the middle of straightening up and trying to organize my room and plus I'm in, still in the middle of straightening up and organizing my little man shit um, I tell you what I I should. Well, somebody hit that. I'd like to have some of the wood out of them things, but. I could knock them apart and get some wood out of them, but then I would leave a mess there on his place, so I can't do that. Now, if it was sitting at a dumpster or something, I, I could do that. Because the trash parts of it, I could throw in the dumpster. What is this? And I don't have my trailer with me. My goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't have my trailer with me. I would like to have some of these. <clears throat> well. I don't know those just come in handy to put stuff in I wonder what 
that is. I was gonna look. It is a. I don't know. You can put a camera on that. Now. So we're gone. That's one of them handy dandy tripods that you hold with your camera on it and it steadies it. And it's got the instructions right here in it. Uh, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. I got all kind of stuff. You know what? I'm gonna take there's some nice I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the house right quick with this stuff. That's some nice containers. Go back to the house right quick. Go back to the house right quick. <laughs> Uh, that tripod thing, man, I, I've been wanting one of those. It's not one that stands alone. It's one you put your camera on and it, it stands on the ground and, and, and uh, there's lots of uses for it. And they're not cheap. They're not cheap. I will... Uh, That's a good little find. GoPro stopped recording. I'm gonna stretch this thing all the way out. It's kind of wet so it can dry. Now, see, that's the way you can stand there and hold that. Or you can reach over something. It it's it's a neat it's a neat tripod and i i definitely been wanting one of them i'm gonna let this case dry out i'm gonna let all this dry out Monopod, that's what it's called. A monopod. Come on, guy, I won't take you apart. Oh, well. Just have to let it dry like that. And this. Let it dry like that. And I forgot my wallet. Okay. Now. I could hook my try. I ain't gonna get that stuff though, guys. I, I've I've got a lot of coats and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> golly, man. 
gobbler, get it out of your head. I'm sitting there. Well, maybe I ought to hook the trailer up and go down there and just get a couple. But if I hook the trailer up and I go down there and I get a couple, I'm going to wind up with a load. I, that's... I ain't going to do it. Trailer, you're staying there. Gosh almighty. What is wrong with me? That's some neat containers and stuff. But I... I, uh, I got them. Uh, I might... There's one or two there that I would like to have. <laughs> oh gosh, get it out of your head. All right, I'm going to public. <laughs> if if they're there when I come back, I will uh, uh I will get that one with that I I got a purpose for. It. I need another container to put certain medications in. I'm really trying to organize myself. Uh, because there's no sense. There's no... I'll tell you what happened to me, folks. I'll tell you exactly what happened to me. My wife took care of me for 48 years. She picked up after me. She did everything. And now I, nobody's picking up. I got to pick up. But pro, I do pick up stuff. But here's the thing. I only do it occasionally, so stuff piles up. Ah. Uh, shouldn't be like that but I uh, there goes somebody one of them what do you call them what kind of pontoon boats um, you know that was a big thing a while back I don't know if it still is or not but I wouldn't have one of them uh, I wouldn't Boats and there's a boat over there. Boats and pontoon boats. They're they're money pits. They are money pits. And I'm sipping coffee. Hmm. Ain't much left in there. You know what? I need to see how my uh, camera. I've noticed some of my videos. It'll be looking at this, and I'm rolling. They can't see nothing out there. So I like to make sure it's showing a little bit of scenery. It's a nice day. It's not really. I guess it'd get hard if you had to sit here in it and just sit still, but I go fast enough here to get a little breeze going. Now I really like when I get in Publix, I love to get in there and go down that dairy aisle because it's so cool and comfortable and I, I like cold. Not extreme cold, but I like cool. And that when I worked at Walmart, I tried my level best to get transferred to the dairy department where I could stay. All them coolers you see with the doors on them that open up, you look through the shelf there, you see back in there and it's a big cooler. And I loved working in there and I got to work in there a time or two. When my wife passed away, they took me off the floor for about two weeks and I worked in dairy. And uh, I, was, I was hoping they would leave me in there permanent, but they, they wouldn't do it. 
even when I took, you got an hour for lunch or dinner, I would go straight to the dairy cooler and sit in there and eat my lunch. And uh, I would buy me a gallon of milk. And I'd write my name on it with a marker and then I would have set that thing on the ledge inside the cooler. And when I always had me a cup of milk when I went in there for lunch or dinner, out of my out of my jug. But you had to take you had to have the receipt uh taped to the jug so they'll know that you ain't stealing the jug of milk. Um but that's what I did. I I really enjoyed that job. I was yeah, I was out and meeting people and talking to people and and it was so gratifying something like one time this mother Bailey you get back of the house get 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 back to the house get get you get to the house get That gone her time. Get to the house. Get. Get to the house. Get. Get to the house. I cannot believe she was following me. Get! Get to the house! Oh, I'm telling you, I need to start making sure she inside when I leave. How you doing, ma'am? Okay, like I was saying, one time when I was working at Walmart, there was a couple of times. The first time it was this this woman and her daughter, and her daughter was like looked like she might have been twelve or thirteen. And uh they come in there to get buy her school clothes and stuff like that and she had about a hundred dollars and for some reason she was carrying it in her hand they didn't appear to be somebody that had a lot of the expendable income put it that way I'm going to turn around and look at my 
dog because she better not be following me again. But somewhere in the girl's clothes in there, she dropped it. <clears throat> she dropped it. And the little girl was just crying and the lady said, I, I've lost I've lost my school money for my daughter and that boy they was upset. So I started going through the aisles and stuff um, looking for it. And lo and behold I found it. And I hauled over, I got your money, dear. And she come running over there and she tried to give me a $20 reward for finding it. And I told her, I said, ma'am, you don't have to do that. I said, my reward is seeing how happy you are to get it back. So that's my reward. Uh, and then there was another time this little girl was coming in there to buy some time on her cell phone. She, she was going to buy a card. Well, this is another case. She was carrying it in her hand. It was a $20 bill. <clears throat> And somewhere in there, amongst the aisles, she dropped it. And I seen her standing over and she was crying. And uh, told me what happened and I said have you looked for it she said yeah but I can't can't find it and I said well let me walk around look and lo and behold I found a twenty dollar bill and took it over there to her and here's your, here's your money here and uh <laughs> she was still crying, but it was tears of joy. You know, and there is nothing like tears of joy. And to tell you the truth, and I'm tearing up now. Both of those times, I teared up because I was so, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I was, but you know, when I see something good happen out of something that was bad, oh my goodness, that's a buzzard. Yeah, but yeah, that, that, I found stuff. Uh, several times I found stuff. Sometimes I'd be walking the aisles doing a safety sweep or something. And I'd see a... One time I found a $5 bill and I turned it in and the people looked at me like I was crazy. And one man will just put it in your pocket. I don't know what to do with it. So I said, no, it's not mine. So he took it, and I imagine he probably put it in his pocket. And I found, I, I found, I found 20s and 10s and stuff like that laying all the time. If it was a big amount of money, I would turn it in, but if it was something like a $5 bill or a dollar bill, I'd just put it in my pocket. 
but it you know it just concerns me sometimes when that happens maybe the person that lost it really needed it so but I, I thoroughly enjoyed working in there because I got to meet so many people and every once in a while when I go to Publix I run into this girl that her aunt raised her and her aunt and her used to come in Walmart a lot um, and she was about 10 Now she's in her 20s, and I see her. She comes to the store every, every once in a while, and I see her, and I don't even know her name. Don't even know her name, and my camera is always off every time I've seen her in there, and I want to turn it on. Matter of fact, I'm gonna ask her if it's off. Can I? Can I take your picture, dear? But she was such. Uh, you could just tell that she was just a a, 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 a uh, what's the word am I looking for? She was a she was a. Well, I told her aunt. I said, she is a breath of fresh air. And her aunt said, you know, that's what the dentist said about her one time. But I mean, just the way she carried herself, the way she dressed. And I'm almost going to say. They appear to be. Well, I don't know. I can't judge a book by its cover. So I was going to say they appear to be a certain religion or something, but I don't know. So I'm not going to say that, but she was a breath of fresh air. And every time I see her when she comes in Publix, I say, there's my breath of fresh air today. Cause she still carries herself the same way. She dresses very, uh, gosh, I can't explain it. Beautiful lady. And she was a beautiful child. She had her, I bet it hung all the way down to her butt. I don't know how high how long it is now cause she wears it in the bun. It's been in the bun every time I've seen her. But I, I would like to engage her in some conversation one time about what's going on in her life, whether she's married, whether she's got kids. Yes, I would. They look a little bit busy, not much. They're not out here cleaning carts anymore. How you doing, sir? All right. I'm done in public. I'm headed back to the house. And you know what? I splurged. I don't know if you know what this is, but I've already had me a piece of that. I'm going to have another one. I love this stuff. I call it liver cheese. It's what I call it. See that? 
love that stuff. I don't know how bad that is in calories, but I need to start eating some kind of meat. I'm eating a lot of cottage cheese with a little bit of uh, topping, uh, you know, usually pineapple. But some of, one of my subscribers said I need to be eating some meat with that too. So I don't know. This is prepared stuff. I love liver. And I assume it's good for you. I know these dang things ain't good for me. But, if we buy one, get one, that means I paid 75 cents for one. Now, I need to fix my mirror so I can... Clear. This one little stretch right here, there's no pavement there for me to run on. So I run down here right quick to where there is. There you go. Down there. I'm going home. I got to work at Marcus Scrap some stuff. Hey, Roxy. What you doing, baby girl? GoPro, stop recording. All right. Here I am at this again. This is the container I was talking about. I want to get that. <laughs> oh me, dauber, dauber, dauber. Yeah, I got a use for that, and that's why I'm getting it. And Don't ask me why I would like to have all that stuff, because I don't need it. I don't have anywhere to put it. I'd like to have them sitting on top of my filing cabinet. There's three of them. These things ain't cheap. They ain't cheap. Well, they're not really expensive either, but. Oh well, I'll get to the house now. I got what I wanted. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> dauber dauber. GoPro stop recording. Do I need to go over and take a look at that? Nah, I'm going to the house. I'm going to the house. 